This next topic in Altair Inspire Studio is about how polynerbs can melt in a symmetry operation. I'll show in a minute what I mean. Let's first create a polynerb as a base. And I again pick the polycube. I want to start drawing from the center. So I will activate a grid, letting me snap and zoom out a little bit. And I start dragging for the base. I press control and I release my mouse button. For the height, let's pick this and I'm done. So that's fine. I press W to invoke the move tool and move it out of the center. Next, I will perform a rotational symmetry, a radial symmetry. To do that, I need to go into the modify ribbon. And the modify ribbon has tools for symmetry. I don't see them, so I need to scroll a little bit. Here they are. So I pick the radial symmetry tool and I click the object. Immediately objects are being created now with a number of four. And I can dynamically increase the number or decrease the number. And I can also click and type and I press three. And here you see what happens. The polynerbs melt into each other. Now I want to do this around the center. So let's go to the top and I move the center point of the operation to the origin. I'm done, so I right click. And if I look to the left, I see that in my model browser now I only see a radial symmetry. The polycube is gone. If I want to see it again, I can click the closed eye icon here and it gets revealed. As an alternative, I can also click the radial symmetry and then at the bottom part, there is a history, the construction history shown, and there is the polycube. I can select it here. I invoke the move tool and I can move it some more. And you'll see that dynamically the system updates. Now is a good time to disable the grid snap. So I can seamlessly see what I'm doing. To better understand what happens, I can also double click the polycube and unnerbify it. Now I accept and I move again. And you see that as soon as they touch each other, they Boolean operate into one object. And if I smooth that out, I need to double click the polycube again, nerbify you see the result immediately. Now, while I'm editing, I can add some more detail. So I go to the polynerb and I say split. And like I've done before, I can dynamically add edges. And now I can edit those. For instance, I can select the last four vertices and then I invoke the move tool but in the move tool I also have an option to scale. I click that option and I drag out this handle in the X direction and you see that dynamically it updates. Also I can go back to the rotate translate and rotate the points. And you can see that now Already, I'm creating a sort of a fan shape. I'm happy, so I close this operation. I'm happy, so I close this operation. And if I double click the radial symmetry, I get all the options back. So here I can, for instance, increase the number uh, to five. Or maybe I want four. So you're totally flexible in your final result. And now I want to show you that you can combine this shape 
with real nerves geometry. So for instance, if I want to have an axis through this fan, I want to create a bus and a hole. So let's do that. I go to the surfaces tab and I pick a cylinder. I can snap to the midpoint and I can drag the base face and I can move up to have the height. Let's make it 35 high. Let's give it a diameter of 40 and I'm done. Now I might move it down a little bit. And like so, let's do it 20 or maybe 15 down or maybe 17.5. Totally flexible with that. Now for an axis to pass through this, I would like to shell out the cylinder. So I go to modify and I have the shelling tool. I click the top face, I click the bottom face. I adjust the thickness to say three millimeters and I am done. Now I want to create that hole and for that hole, I want this edge. So I go to my curve tool, cur curve ribbon and I pick the edge extract tool. And now I extract this edge and I am done. Right click, right click again. Now I can create that hole, so I go to the Modify tab and pick the Trim tool. The Trim tool allows curves to be trimmed out of a solid. So it asks me to select the objects. So I click my radial symmetry, I click the curve, I right click, and now it asks me which of the two parts I want to trim out. So I click the middle part and the hole is drawn. I right click to accept and I'm done. Now all I need is to add these two together. So I have on the Modify tab the Union tool and I click the object and I click the object. There are no objects left so I right click to accept, right click to accept and now this is one piece. The transition of the surface I want to smooth out a little bit, so I pick the round tool and then I click this edge. Automatically it will go full round and I do the same for the bottom. The default is 2 millimeters, but um, let's make it 3 millimeters. And I'm done, so I right click and I right click. Still I'm flexible. If I click the round, I find my radial symmetry. I double click it and I increase the copies by five. And now I have a fan with five blades or I can decrease to three blades and everything will update. I accept. I can also go back to the polycube and change it some more. The points are still selected and with the move tool I can for instance make them longer. Everything will update and everything is based on a polycube but completely nerve defined.